Okay, I'm just going to show you on the item masters and the customer and vendor. These are all the key masters. So here you have the search button shows, tell me what to do. Like you don't require to memorize the path where you want to go. If you want to go to purchase, if you want to go to create an item or a, create a, a sales order, you just type in where you want to go. I'm just typing in item. This will take me to the list of related to the item. I just want to click item here and I have configured few items specifically for the speed grip company. So it starts with SG hyphen. So it gives all the list of items which have configured for speed grip. So it, it shows the complete list of item, high level view. And the first one item number, description, <coughs> costing method. Can I know what is the costing method being fo followed? It's a standard or first, for, first out or moving average? So you have also can set the tracking of those items being produced, those items to be purchased. So when you pr produce a product, so you know which are the items consumed by that item to produce a finished good. So you will have a complete tracking of items. If there is, if you want to track something wrong with the serial number of that particular product and you can know when this particular product was produ producing this particular item, you have completely end-to-end -end tracing. I will also walk through to the item tracing part when the production is complete. So here it will uh, configure, it is configured as production orders. So these are all replenishment system and you see some items which have configured as purchasable item. So this will show you the tiles view. All tiles, I just configured a few items of finished goods, internal hydraulic arbor. And if you just move a little over, there are some flywheel balance arbors, standard external collet of uh, OD3000 and here OD6000. And you have some raw materials, so carbon steel round bar is the raw material normally being used for making the collets which have just chose some raw materials product internal hydraulic bar it will take you to the item card so this is the master setup configuration it's a one time setup normally when the drawings are received from the customer the design team will design the product and when the orders are confirmed so you need to have this products master set and you need to start planning it how do you want to produce so here how it shows on the right shows you can have the image or a drawing can be uh, imported and if you have any supporting documents you can attach so i have attached a sample of document which people can view it and this particular document will flow to your purchase sales and across various transactions in the business center and you, here you have a lot of tabs, the item, which will have more number of fields. If you just click here, it will give more numbers visible to you. And also there are few fields which are hidden. If you do not want to view this G, GTIN num field and you can personalize and hide it, you can keep only the relevant fields. That is also possible. So he, the item number, description and the basic unit of measure. And the next tab will talk about the inventory. And if you click here, system will give you the inventory where it is. So it will show you in which location the six numbers is there. I will also show you how this inventory by location also you can view. And here it talks about the costing method. So once you set with the costing method, you are not supposed to change over the time. If it is set for a standard, then it has to be followed throughout and here these are all the posting setups which we need to do during the implementation that's a one-time setup and here this used when you start purchasing this item or producing an item if it is produced item then it is a rolled up cost what's my inventory value based on the items consumed to pro produce this particular finished item so it rolls up and provides a value here 
So what's my selling price? If you want to maintain a different selling price for a different customer based on your prices, you can have set special prices for a customer if it is the same product. Normally these products are produced based on the customer need. But if there are some standard products which you want to categorize and group and sell it with a, with a group discount, then you can have the set discounted prices over here. Or a campaign if you want to sell at a reduced price for a particular period. So system automatically picks up based on the set setup you have done for this. Here on the replenishment method, I'm just set up as production order for your product, internal hydraulic arbor, and you have the manufacturing policy. And I have set up routing, which are all the stages which need to go through the production, and you have the production bill of material. And also I have some planning method. If, if it is a purchase, then I need to plan it. I need to maintain minimum inventory for a part various product which I need to use it. If the ABC analysis is being used, then highest value, lowest inventory, the lowest value will have the highest inventory. Those kind of ABC analysis kind of works on those basis. So you, you set up those reorder point, reorder quantity, and so system triggers when you do the planning, manufacturing, material requirement planning. So system suggests which are all the inventory. If there are some confirmed orders, then system picks up and starts planning for your raw materials to be purchased. When the material to be delivered, due date is by 31st October, do the backward planning and ensure that you need to start by this date so that you can complete your production. That's how it plans. I will also walk through the walk, uh, take you to the uh, planning side after this. So you have the item tracing, you can have the tracking of it. I think last time uh, we were telling about, we were talking about model numbers. If there are some serial number tracking is required, we can definitely set up and start tracking on this.